Orozco's Ping Pond table is actually one of my favorite objects of the beginning of the 21st century. In a sense, what it is, is it's two ping pong tables crossed, uh, and at the intersection is a pond that is filled with water lilies. You find yourself with an immediate conundrum. What are the rules of this game? You're being asked to play rather than to contemplate. And that was an incredible way of thinking about not just art, but actually democracy. Like the true meaning of democracy is that we are always in an act of negotiating what the terms of engagement are going to be. In the early and mid 90s, the, 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 the contemporary art world was really not so leveled by uh, globalization. And that didn't really make Gabriel make any concessions. One of the things that makes Gabriel Orozco in some ways both typical and exemplary of his generation as an artist is that he was willing and able to work in a wide variety of media. Gabriel made photographs, drawings, sculptural objects, installations, and most recently, paintings. His versatility is, is rooted in an old-fashioned sense of discipline. He's an, art, uh, an artist who's very engaged and he's always working. When you have an artist who is that prolific and heterogeneous, one of the things you have to do is you have to decide um, how to best represent the arc of an artist's output. His ambitions as, a, as an artist were, were big. However, he was making work with uh, extremely modest means and uh, quite unexpected means. At MoCA, we're particularly lucky because we actually have a variety of the types of things that Gabriel Orozco has made. The ventilators, which is a suite of ceiling fans, and then rolls of toilet paper are affixed to the blades of the ceiling fan. So as the ceiling fans turn around, this toilet paper kind of waves in the air. As an artist, he's taken these amazing leaps, isolating one piece of experience from, from the world and bringing it into the, you know, the context of an art exhibition. A lot of his works are not uh, uh, generated, um, you know, in the confinement of a studio. Many of them really have this connection with, uh, with experience. Those doodle-like drawings, they are speaking to this like, very quotidian way of being in the world as an artist. A, a kind of creativity that is occupying all of the day, every day, you know, without borders. He doesn't has one idea and then makes 25 works out of that one idea. This is not the kind of artist he is. It has to do more with trying to understand, you know, how artistic practice integrates into, into life and how it feeds off life. 